What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to the Hybrid Network and a brand new IT video, where today I kind of wanted to bring up a question that had been really getting to me about just the nature of IT and just how the movie will play out, particularly the ending. So I'll say this now, if you haven't seen the original miniseries or read the book, but you want to stay spoiler-free for the upcoming movie, then go ahead and click out now. If, however, you are totally fine with all these spoilery details about to come out, then stick around as we dive into a discussion I'd been thinking about for a while. So I think it's no secret that upon originally seeing it or reading the novel, the ending to the story leaves us well, a little confused. Maybe in some cases disappointed, maybe in some cases angry, but the general consensus I've usually found is that most people think the ending to It comes out of nowhere, that being this reveal that It is in fact some kind of great entity that came to Earth from some alternate plane of existence called the Macroverse, and appears to the Losers Club as a giant pregnant spider. Again, it seems like it comes out of nowhere, and it kind of kills that little glimmer of fear you had for what It could possibly be, because I'm sure whatever you imagined was just all the more terrifying. That's not to say that a great entity from a parallel universe isn't scary, there's gotta be some Lovecraftian inspiration here for this twist with the monster. The whole idea of an evil being that basically utilizes humanity as a means to an end is horrific. And place on top of that the fact that it's something outside of human conception just gives this great fear of the unknown and what we don't understand. Still, it seems a little out there, considering that until the near end of the story it just seemed like a typical ghost tale, with the Losers Club each having to conquer their fear to band together and defeat it. So I had been wondering ever since I heard that this film was announced about the possibility of changing the ending, of coming to terms with a different idea of what it is and its origins. I even felt like the movie could do something really terrifying in never actually answering the question of what it could be, because while the giant spider isn't its actual form, it kind of takes away from the grand finale just to see the kid's greatest fear summed up as simply a giant spider, or at the very least just the form that it takes near the end. So I thought for the longest time that of course it would be beneficial to change the ending, to just give us something other than the giant spider. Would that actually be better? I had thought for a while that the whole idea behind the macroverse and cosmic entities was something that was just borderline confusing for anyone first coming into IT, that it wouldn't be a good idea to introduce this concept to the general public, especially in a horror film where concepts like that could easily drop the whole tone and scare factor of the film. If it isn't done right, it can lead to a huge departure from the audience, where the scare factor ebbs away and you're just leaving your audience confused. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they shouldn't at least try, because that's kind of what makes IT stand out as a horror story. The fact that it tackles this whole cosmic celestial horror angle and has the kids facing off against an evil that predates their entire universe. It's something that's elevated to another level, and to take that away might actually take away what's the most special thing about it in general. The monster itself doesn't really matter, but the themes and ideas it presents to the story do. And I can't help but think that something might be lost if we're not introduced to these metaphysical concepts like a universe wrapped around our own, and some sort of cosmic entity feasting on the emotions of children. Then again, most of these elements might only be here as a means of slightly connecting the stories of Stephen King and the Dark Tower, which pays tribute to a lot of the more cosmic Lovecraftian-style horror present in some of these books. That's not a bad thing, but it seems like one that might be out of reach for IT once you consider that this movie and The Dark Tower are being produced by two different companies entirely, one by Warner Brothers and one by Sony Pictures, respectively. So in all fairness, these cosmic aspects could be dropped from the film in favor of crafting an ending and explanation to Pennywise that doesn't rely on more abstract concepts of entities that exist in other planes of existence because there might not be a benefit to it, not with no Dark Tower to possibly connect to. But what do you guys think? Do you think we have a chance to see all of these out there concepts within the new IT movie, or do you think they're going to change it up to where it's not so confusing and out there for audiences to grasp? Let me know in the comments down below, and be sure to stay subscribed to the Hybrid Network to stay all up to date on all of our videos as they come out. My name is Luke, and I'll catch you guys next time.